How you doing? We're going to show you how to create some blacks here. These blacks we created are inch and a half screw fittings, and they are immaculate. We got the T, the union, strainer, yada, yada. So to create them to scale, we're going to go to the McMaster car catalog online, click on the inch and a half fitting, and you could download that in a PDF. We're going to download that, and we're going to open that up in Bluebeam. Open with Bluebeam. And you can see here, we created some shapes here. You would do that by going over here, creating a rectangle to the exact size. Change your line color, change your fill, okay. So here's the shape I created, we're going to drop that in, We got another shape over here that we dropped in over over such and now what we're going to do is we're going to trace these arcs and it goes pretty quick actually with the polygon line This is blown up so big you won't see any deviation in this arc whatsoever. And then we have to join these three shapes into one block. And that's by right clicking and pressing group. Point one four. And then our fill is going to be gray. Now what we want to do is we want to press shift on those three particular shapes and you want to group them. <coughs> Once they're grouped, then you can set that to your tool chest. Our tool chest right now is screw fittings. So it popped in there. It's gonna to be too big though. So now we're gonna to go to Bluebeam. And I created a drawing. <coughs> and my drawing was set to custom. I did two inch equals one foot with the 0 .001 calibration. So now I need to create a piece of pipe. So my pipe, I'm gonna use my blue beam converter. I need inch and seven eighths for the OD of inch and a half. So by clicking this, I can change that. Inch and seven eighths with a two inch equals one foot. That line needs to be 0 0.3125. So I go to my blue beam I insert a rectangle. I open up the properties and you can see the height is not right. So I go 0.3125. Now that equals inch and seven eighths. And we can verify that by measuring that. So there's your inch and a half nipple. So now, 
you can see in my tool chest, I actually already created one. Okay, there's the inch and a half pipe. I can apply some threads to it. So the first time you drop that tool, that block in there, it's going to be way too big. So what you got to do is you got to shrink it. to fit that at two inch equals one inch, two inch equals a foot. Now you can also change the length of that block. We didn't change the height, so it's still an inch and seven eighths. Let's put another thread on the other side. They're fitting a different color. All right. So you're basically ready to go. So now when you add that black calibrated to two inch equals one foot, now add that to your tool chest. And now you're ready to go. So all these fittings have been put in here to the appropriate scale of this drawing. And at that point, it's all over but the crank and you just start plopping your fittings in and make your sketch and it's that simple so there you go you got your valve your 45s okay so add your tools toolbars customize Okay. and you can add whatever type of tools you want so like I said these fittings were added from the McMaster car catalog take your time trace them you'll never have to reinvent the wheel then over here on the on the view here it's just a matter of creating some circles you got your big your outside hub your, your middle Boom. And then remember, we saved that hub before because we're going to use it again. There you go. Use your polygon line, trace that around, and then format. Shift on, shift on those. Right click, group them, and then you have your block. So as you go along, you'll have, you got your weld fittings, you got your big, big clamps. You got big fittings. So I hope this helped you. There'll be more of this to come. But when you're all done, look at the nice detail you have. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. And you can share, your, share those blocks. Save your block set and share it with your brother and your sister. And it'll make life a lot easier. And you have a nice drawing in a PDF format ready to go to the floor. All right, thank you. There'll be more to come. Talk to you soon.